Hey guys, it's Rhea here and welcome back to another Sims 4 build episode. Now we are going to stay on the container theme for just a bit longer because I was given a special challenge. My best friend challenged me to make a container restaurant that's basically eco-friendly and pretty much off the grid as much as it can get and the catch is it all has to be on a 64 tile lot so what i want to do is open up this so we need to go into tiny home i will make a 32 room 32 tile room and what I also want to do is basically extend this to the 64 that we need. I will copy this. Delete the underside and delete all the walls. Now you're probably wondering what I'm trying to do over here. And what I'm trying to do is very simple. I want to have... A container home that's on not container home a container restaurant that's on wheels and how do i want to do that is very also very simple i will first turn on move objects on then bb dot show hidden objects and bb dot show live edit objects and if we go into debug next there is, I hope I will find it rather quickly. I think it's from Cats and Dogs. The Cats and Dogs expansion pack, but I am not necessarily sure. You know those uh, like uh, trailers for boats? That's what I'm looking for. Because I want to have one part be on the wheels the first 32 tiles and then the other 32 tiles will basically be an extension because i did my research i did google a bit how how those container restaurants actually look like so i get a decent enough vision about it and most of them i also i also was kind of inspired by actual those long long trailer homes that have like pull out decks and such and that was my go-to idea so basically i don't want this area to be rooted to the ground in any way or form now here we are in the cats and dogs expansion more or less and let's see if we can find what i'm looking for mm. It is jumbled up a bit with other packs. Now I'm questioning if I will actually... Oh, there it is. It's not even Cats and Dogs. It's from the base game. So if I put this over here, will this... It does have to be a bit more up. Like so. And probably scooted over here i would say yeah yeah i think that's 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 about it no i want to move you just a bit over here and maybe to the f well, keep doing the same mistake and maybe a bit over on here so if we go into walls now this over here is going to be the actual section of the container this is where the kitchen will be maybe even a bar and also this will be kind of the terrace where people sit down and eat and this is basically the shape I want to go for. There's also cars in the debug. Which I can probably pull out one real quick if I'm able to find the one I'm looking for. For example, a 
well, should be a bit bigger. And I also apologize for, for not turning off my phone sounds. Like so. I do believe this looks kind of nice. I might scoot this over a little bit to swap how it looks like, but this is basically what I have in mind for the basic shape. And I will try and decorate a little bit from the outside, maybe do some seating area over on the grass as well, and then bring you guys back once I'm done. Alright, I do believe I am done with the exterior. It's rather simple. I've just added a, a spandrel over here, supported by two columns that are from Eco Lifestyle. I've added an upper area for more chairs and more sitting area, maybe even a bar instead of over here. And I've also added these stairs which i believe could pass as retractable ones so once the once the tr once the container restaurant just goes it can r easily retract them and pack them up i've also added these little supports over here because the platform does have to stand on something and i have decided to go with with a full truck instead of uh this car because it is small and if you basically put it in in this stat it's it's kind of looking ridiculous because there's no way that this tiny car can pull such in container and if i size it up it's it's ginormous and out of completely out of proportion so i've decided to go with the full-on truck which also gives kind of an advantage as well because in the truck they can store uh the chairs the tables uh, they can also store food in there and basically it adds quote unquote more uh kind of uh, storage space that's not exactly usable but fictionally we can imagine how it's uh, how it's used I've added these windows from Discover University because I do think they fit in very nicely. Uh, the flooring is from Jungle Adventure. It's a flooring that I use really often because I do love using it. And there is also this uh, paneling from Eco Lifestyle once again in a dark brown uh, color. So what I want to do next is... We are still on 64 by 64. Well, actually 64 tiles for this. And with that, I do want to switch it over to a restaurant. Rental restaurant, there we go. And basically my next step is to fully furnish it. Go as eco-friendly as possible. I kind of imagined it to be like we had over here who watched uh whoever watched my uh no constraints uh build with the abandoned container slash junkyard will know what i'm talking about basically i will pick random chairs that don't necessarily match and make something wonderful out of it now for now it looks fancy and it does lean and it will lean on more the fancy side but i want to have it as eco-friendly as possible because this is part of the challenge and yeah i want to also make it as off the grid as possible so we will see what actually happens with the slot there is also a lot of space over here that i can use for for probably like i said probably seating areas or maybe just a a uh, playground kind of combine it to make it half a park and the uh, uh, container restaurant just happened to park next to the park and yeah we'll see how it goes and i'll bring you guys back once i'm done 
All right, so far so good. Uh, the interior and the bits on the exterior look very nice in my opinion. As you can see, I went with just a bunch of refurbished furniture that the owners of the restaurant fa found on their way basically everywhere where they went. They maybe grabbed a bit maybe a chair, maybe a table, and then they refurbished it to use it in their own restaurant. Now that I see over here that there is this, this is now correct. I did put up uh, solar panels just to produce at least a bit of energy. Uh, we have a menu over here from Cottage Living, I believe, if I'm correct. Uh, yes, indeed. I also added these uh, spa day uh, candles just to kind of break off the view uh, inside the kitchen. I had to scoot things around and I had to get rid of the bar that I originally wanted to because we do need to have a, a sink and a toilet for uh, the bathroom, basically. So the bar got exchanged for this table with these kind of mismatching but still cute looking chairs we put the waiter station over here and this is just a small bathroom with not much going on it's just a toilet and a sink both are working off the grid i also exchanged uh, one counter for the sink and i also exchanged the fridge to one that's uh, functioning off the grid as well so this is just the change over here in the kitchen obviously these have to be uh not off the grid because otherwise it won't function as well and as you can see this window got replaced with uh another cooking station because i do like the idea of this being maybe even a a uh, kind of halfway restaurant, halfway fast food restaurant. So for those who want to grab a quick snack, they can come over in this area. And those who want to get seated are more than welcome to come over here. There's also a bigger table up top next to the solar panels for maybe a bigger family or some gathering that people want to celebrate. For example, a birthday, a wedding or the likes now i also fenced off this area just to kind of have it not hang in there and that's basically it these are also lights from uh island living just to like add to the general vibe and it does look very nice in the night as well even if there are limited lights available so what I want to go ahead and do next, I will most likely scoot this a bit to the front and I want to make this kind of a parking lot area. So if we go ahead over here and grab, I don't even know where I could even find it. Hmm. Maybe the quality concrete or... Yeah, I don't even know where where it where it is. I do believe it should be somewhere over here. Maybe we can grab it like this. High end concrete. This could this could actually work. Slab of concrete, no. Let's go ahead and try out this. It's not as good. Maybe if we filter it through colors and just choose black. And then go to all options. See if we can find something over here. This kind of looks better. This is the same one. Celebrity tile. Maybe this? No, that's not what i'm looking for 
I do know that there is, um, there is, or at least should be, asphalt, but yeah, I, I really can't find it. Maybe, maybe we actually go with uh, this one. This one kind of looks more like the thing I'm looking for. And if we go ahead and grab a white fence as low as possible so our only option is this so we basically have these lines but maybe even if we filter through spotty as well i do believe they have like these uh floor tiles or actually floor lights that could be very well of use these, these are the ones I'm talking about. And if we go ahead and just put them like so. I know they are illuminated, but they do the job of how I'm imagining things. So basically what I want to do is just go ahead and do, do it basically like this. Create a parking lot, maybe add some plants over here in the middle. For example, some bushes. We just go ahead and grab these. So, for example, like this, maybe even add a couple of street lights in the middle. That's how I'm kind of envisioning this to go. And yeah, basically that's my idea for the exterior. Maybe I'll add some like planter boxes that are purposefully uh, build there and yeah, I'll bring you guys back once more once I'm done All right, I do believe I have the outside completely done. I've added parking spaces. I've added cars also these like things to prevent from uh, cars going straight from basically the street over here. I've added some greenery as well. I'm actually really proud how this uh, arrow came out. We also have uh, these pedestrian crossings, just in case. I've added some debug uh, lights, because I do imagine this to be like a parking of a big mall or shopping center. And basically they allowed the container restaurant to park there, have like a designated spot for, I don't know, a week or two before they move on. And I think this looks very nicely. It allows for additional light on the terraces once it's nighttime. I've also added some greenery again over here, fenced it off with a nice uh, concrete fence. And over here on the back, since I did want this to be kind of a uh, fast food as well, I've added some additional chairs and tables in case people want to sit down and eat their fast food rather than have it on the go but yeah with these planters around i think it also came nicely it, the space is not as empty and i did go and check once again if we still are on 64 out of 64 tiles and we are so we can easily switch back to the restaurant which we managed to make as eco-friendly as possible we've added salvageable tables and chairs we added as many off the grid items as possible and i do believe with this shot over here we will wrap this episode up so thank you so much for watching thank you so much for joining me in building this i hope you liked it I hope you liked all of the containers from uh, my uh, container build mini series that came out bigger and more popular than I actually expected. And yeah, if you want to keep in the loop in what I'm doing on screen and off screen, you're more than welcome to follow me on my socials. It's at RiaPlaysYT on Twitter at Simbuilds by Ria on Instagram. And if you want to follow the YouTube channel in general on Instagram, it's Ria Place. You can also find this as well as all my other buildings in the gallery under Bewitched by Stars. 
And thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next episode. Bye!